This large machine is a giant ballot sorting machine. We call it the Dragon because it's so large. We had to build it in its own room. Ballots are fed in here, the mail-in and absentee ballots that we've been getting, and they can be sorted both by municipality and by precinct. These are the ballots that have been arriving since we started mailing out mail-in and absentee ballots. We've sent out almost 200,000 of these. What happens to these ballots is they get sorted by the, uh, by the Dragon, and then starting at 7 o'clock this morning was the first time we were allowed to start opening the ballots. So what you see over here are machines that are ballot slicing and extractor machines. You run through the envelopes twice because you've got an outer envelope and you've got an inner privacy envelope. So the ballot goes through once, it opens the, the outside ballot, it goes through a second time, it opens the privacy envelope. And then there's an extractor that, that pops open the envelope, it's taken out, the ballot is flattened, it stays with the, with the envelope and it's preserved for scanning later in the day. Once we have a large amount of the ballots open and flattened, they're taken to one of our high-speed scanners, we'll see one of them here, and they're fed into that, and the data is preserved for tabulation. And at eight o'clock tonight, after the polls close, we can start loading that information and reporting it to the public. Ballots are never completely counted by the end of the election day. Um, for instance, we have a number of people from Bucks County who are serving or living overseas with the military or other callings. And so those military and overseas ballots are never uh, counted until well after the election anyway. This work will continue through the night and into tomorrow and however long it takes until we finish.